Today, the largest tractor in the game gets even bigger. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 17 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got 7 new and 4 updates. For console only, we got 1 new. In PC and Mac, we've got 5 new as well. Let's check it out. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have Kleinsilheim. This is a brand new map for all platforms. On this map, there's gonna be two farms, a large with chickens and cows, buying and selling animals, three cell stations, sell of milk, bells, and wood, vehicle traffic, pedestrians, a BGA, which is behind us now, 27 total fields. You've got uh, nine something, uh, <laughs> Walter? I'm not sure what that is. Collisions on all of the models. Flat terrain, so it's nice and easy to work. Small medium fields are on the map, and it is seasons ready. Oh yeah, we got all kinds of stuff on here. Now this is a very itty bitty little teeny tiny map. Very, very small map, but hey, really nice. What do you get when you start a new farmer? We well, get field 11 right here. It's gonna be 30,000. You get your main farm right there. And then down here, you got field one, 69,000, nice. And then you get the area beside the biogas plant i think that's back here let's see aha uh -huh, it's a grass field okay so you've got a nice grass field over here and from that grass field you'll be able to take it to the biogas plant which is right there you will have to buy the biogas plant separately so there is that looks like you've got a farm right here right in front of us as well yep right there pigs and stuff that's going to be your second farm and then your main farm of course is going to be right over here nice small map probably good for those of you that enjoy smaller maps or maybe you're just getting started off a little bit less to deal with here i found when i started playing farming simulator the larger fields were a little bit much for me let's check out what do we get in new farmer mode well they have john deere 6r we get the puma 240 that's got a 270 horsepower in it, and that's the big one you get the big engine in the 6r you also get a big combine as well or awesome as six or uh, 161 you get a big <laughs> This is huge equipment, holy cow. Uh, you get a nice six meter disc arrow. You also get a six meter direct drill. You got a fertilizer spreader, a mower, tether, windrow. You get a, a loading wagon and you have the sawmill on here as well. That is a placeable. You can sell that and get rid of it if you wish. So you can quite a, quite a bit going on right here. <laughs> hey -oh. What do you get? Let's see, is there anything in our silo? No, we have to purchase the land that the silos own, evidently. Well, what happens if we do that? Now what do we have? Oh, nada. Um, <laughs> is the silo usable? <laughs> Yikes. Next new mod for all platforms is Kilnity. I think that's how you say that. It's a fictional map with three farms, 84 fields, biogas plant, three selling grain points, sawmill, buying stations for water and lime, and a railway train that goes around part of the map. This reminds me a lot of like No Man's Land meets Ravenport, or not Ravenport, uh, Felsburn, kinda, in a in a strange way. It, it reminds me a whole lot of No Man's Land, actually. Uh, this is cool. This is a really neat farm. So as you can see, we've got tons of massive fields on here. If we take a look at the PDA, it is a full 2x map. I mean, an absolutely full 2x map, to, <laughs> to be precise. Again, you've got three farms. This is one of our farms right here. Uh, as far as going around, I haven't actually looked to see where the other farms are yet. I don't actually know where they are. <laughs> so we'll have to just kind of fly around and figure that out. This is a neat little farm. This is a really neat little farm. Well, that just disappeared, didn't it? Look at that. That's something something right there. I don't know I don't know what that is. But nonetheless, you've got all kinds of stuff around here. Making our way over to what I believe it said is our farm. Yep, right over here. Uh, this is going to be where your main farm is, at least where you're starting off. You got a couple things over here. As far as equipment goes, oh, yo, are these, uh, there was a map, I can't remember what it was on 17, but these buildings remind me of that. Equipment, well, you don't get a whole lot to be completely honest with you. You get a new Holland T6, you get the small raw smash combine, you get a Manitou, which is interesting. You get a small tipper, which is going to give that T6 a run for its money for sure. You also get a power stream, so you do get a nice five meter header for the combine. You get a three meter direct drill. You've got a fertilizer spreader, a weeder, which these will also do, uh, they will also plant things, which is nice. You've got the food mixer? Yeah, food mixer. You've got your water trans, weight, and then you have a bunch of placeables that are built into the map, which is nice. You can delete these and 
kind of do whatever you want, at least over here with the main farm. Pretty neat, huh? Again, if we pop up, you could see we've got tons and tons of big areas to work with here. Uh, there is kind of an area up here, huge logging, massive logging on this map. And then way up here, you've got points for bell cells. You've got larger fields that are kind of on the side of the mountain and that kind of thing. I mean, this is a very, very spacious map for sure. You are not going to get claustrophobic whatsoever with this. This is going to be really cool. And I think this is going to be, uh, at least for console players, I think this may become a lot of people's favorite map. Maybe not completely favorite, but if you like No Man's Land, I think you should definitely give this a try. It's kind of like a finished version of No Man's Land in a way to me. Um, and I consider that a, a pretty high compliment. No Man's Land is an extremely well done map. Alien Jim did a fantastic job with that. We got sync. I dig it. Next new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Big Bud 16 v 747 by JHHG Modding. Oh man, the biggest tractor in the world is even bigger now with the addition of some new <laughs> big old tires. The LSWs, baby. Let's go. This thing is incredible. You got two options for wheels here. You got singles or you've got duals on here, which is nice. Either way you want to rock around. I mean, <laughs> this thing is big. If you go in here and you put trips on here, you can see how big the trips are there. That's on the standard version. And this is pretty much the same right here. Uh, as far as options and things like that go, can we do much of anything? Well, let's open that up. It says rotate the crane so we can open the door. Ooh, that was a really nice animation too. Is that handle go down? Yeah, yo, great job on there, dude. Really, really good job on there. Otherwise, pretty standard big bud that you got right here. <laughs> it's cool. It's big, 16 miles per hour max speed. Uh, same horn as always. You <laughs> ready to go, man? I love it. Next up for all platforms, we have the slate roof buildings. With this, we get a couple different things. So we have the farmhouse with barn. That's going to cost you $220,000. You have the small vehicle shed. That's going to be $9,000. Large vehicle shed, $22,000. And you have the chicken pen extension for the farmhouse. Now, <laughs> I might have put this at the wrong place. So we're going to show you exactly how to place that because I didn't put it in the right spot. Regardless, let's take a look over here at the farmhouse with barn. Now with this one, we've got an area right here where you can go in. You've got a door here. If we open this door up, you go in, you can see, well, it's just covered. So you can put like things that you can pick up with your hands. Uh, you could store things like that in there. Let's go ahead and close that back up. And then we have our barn. So if we go through and hit open on all of these. We have great door animations. We have drive-through areas for the first and the last, which is nice. You do have a hayloft up here as well. So if we look up, you've got a nice hayloft. You can do stuff up there if you wish, uh, you know, raise and put bells up there and that kind of thing, if you can get in and out. Uh, and then we even have an area right up here. Now we could climb up this. And again, we have more space here. And if we open that, great animation by the way you can load in from the back so whoop <laughs> hey you can see right there that's where you load everything in which is nice i, I, I kind of dig it man i dig it one thing is the interior of the home looks finished however if we pull up everything you can see we have no way of opening that we go here this is where we sleep but we're not able to get in so it is what it is, whatever. Uh, small shed and chickens and everything. You guys kind of saw that. Uh, if we go over here real quick, run, 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 run. You got a place for your eggs, place for your food. And then right here is where you do that. You can also open the gate right there. Now you can see this is open a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in. We are going to look for chicken pen, which is going to be this one right here, chicken pen extension for the house. We're gonna spin it and it's supposed to go, if I'm looking at this correctly, oh, it goes around the back, all right. So it goes around the back, like right here. So it should line up like right about right there. You could see the, the way the chickens would like go up in through there. So that should go about right there-ish. <laughs> So if we run back over here now, you can see that we've got our chicken pen put there. They've got a way to kind of walk in and out of the house right there. And if we open this up now, 
chickens will actually run around inside, which is kind of neat. And you've got area, you can see I didn't really put it in straight, but that's supposed to be how it is. So you could use it either way that you want, which, you know what, I think that's kind of cool. I like the way that this is done. I really think that more people should do things like this. I like this. So you could use one. You never know the other one was supposed to be there. You can use the other one and it, it works. That's cool. Next up, we've got a new mod for all platforms. We have the liquid chemical tank for manure system. Now, as you may know, manure system, it exists in the world of farming simulator, but only works on PC. So they say tanks need to be filled. They can store up to 150,000 liters of liquid fertilizer and herbicide. This is for use for Wobster's manure system mod. So you can use it with that as well. We've got this hose right here. If you are using the manure system, you're on PC, grab that. Bring it up, attach hose, boop, boop. And then you want to go here. Ooh, click the right button. There we go. And then open manure flow. Well, it says manure flow, but this is for fertilizer and herbicide. And then you would hook up your, you know, whatever harvester, I say harvester, whatever sprayer you're using that supports the manure system. Well, you're good to go. You can store stuff here. Do you think? Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the cow shed with a garage. This is for four cows and two garages. Is a summer home. How about that? Manure is in the place of straw. But ba boom, let's go in and let's turn our help window on so we can kind of see what's where. So we open these bad boys up right here. We've got a nice area in the top. We can go in. Unfortunately, players can't jump in there. I don't know. Cup right here. Open this bad boy up. We got four cows. <laughs> Open animal dialogue. We'll buy a couple right there. There we go. Uh, I don't believe we're going to be able to see the cows. Storage area right there. It's kind of neat. Can't open that. Come around the backside and nothing, nothing there. So interesting that we've got uh, static animals appear to be static animals only. So we do own the cows. Of course, we'll have to back in here and give them all their food and everything that they need, but uh, that's about it. That's all we see here. It's your last new mod for all platforms. Today's gonna be the garage, 11 by three, five by six. I don't understand why there's two sets of numbers there, but hey, it is what it is. This is a garage with three gates on it. As you can see, the building measures 11 by three and a half by six K. That makes sense now. Price is $10,000, daily upkeep 15 bucks per day. Looks like we have some lighting right here. Can we turn any of the lighting on? It does not look like it. Actually, it doesn't even look like we have lighting in here. Well, there is a light, so that is good. Uh, makes you wonder, is this gonna turn on at night? Just because it has a light, I see it. Let's give her a try, and the answer is yes. That is going to be a light. Cool, all right, I dig it. Let's move into updates. And those updates are gonna start us off with the TLX 2020 series. This is gonna be version 1.1.7. Issue have been fixed with the attached beds. They now move when the front axle moves. So as you can see, we can raise and lower the front axle and that back bed will follow along now. You don't have to detach and reattach just to get it to line up. They've also adjusted the driving and suspension softness. Next mod update for all platforms today is going to be the Lizard Augur Master by Mantra. This is going to be version 1.0.2. New, they've added field safe narrow wheel options right here for the Nokian and Trelleborg tires. You can see we have the Trelleborgs right in front of us. And if we go over to the Nokian, you've got those as well. Those are so cool. I still, I'm, I'm still a big fan of these right here. So we got to put these back on. They've also increased the length of the pin hitch up here in the front uh, so that it'll work with the Case IH Allsoft 8800. They've improved additional field types to accommodate custom fruits, AKA bulk. Yes, this will now hold literally everything. And it's got an auger. Oh, it's so cool. Love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, additionally, they've added a small fire extinguisher in the front to help with fires caused by the wood chips and other unknown fruits getting stuck in the mechanism, AKA just for decoration, but it looks awesome. And we've got an update to the disc hero. This is gonna be version 1.1, new colors. What colors do we get? All of the old colors, no black colors though. That's very interesting. No blacks or grays, but you do get all the older, uh, older colors. Old colors, yeah. And your last update, I'm not even sure if this is an update or not. This is the Bergman HTW65. Uh, a, I don't remember having this, and B, it's version one. Interesting, so it says update, I'm not quite sure. Let's talk about it, uh, this bad boy right here. Main color, you've got them all. Let's do a, uh, 
Yeah, design color. Let's take this down, take it to gloss. Ooh, that does not look great. Let's make that a white. There we go, it's a little bit better. Configuration 56, 61. Nokian tires, lizard tires, Trelleborg tires, Michelin tires, design with and without warning stripes. Cover, yes or no? I I don't know if this is new or an update, but it exists. So, <laughs> ta-da! Our one new mod for console players today finally is the Case Magnum MX Series by Casarius Modding. This bad boy right here is awesome. And we are on the PlayStation 4 right now showing it off. Here we got main color, black, stainless steel, and chrome. That is going to be your exhaust pipe right there. Configurations, we have a standard, we have a small bracket, We've also got, oh, this is why I hate console, man. It keeps moving around on me. Oh, this stinks. Uh, you have small bracket. You've also got 700 kilogram front weight. This is why I play on PC. 900 kilogram front weight. What is going on with this? Front three point. This stinks. We need to fix this, please. Somebody. Oh, uh, we've also got back to standard again. Wheel brands. We have a Michelin. We have a lizard tire. And in Michelin, we have wide singles. We have wide duels in the back, singles in the front, rear duels, single narrow things. We've got weights. We've got rear duels with weights. We got all kinds of stuff through here. Just gotta go through, find what you like. You can see all the different versions through there. And then in Lizard through here, we have singles, rear duels. Rear duels got a weight on them, double weights back there. And then we've got a few more different options through here as well. Again, just kind of go through, figure out what you like. As far as fenders go, we have no. We have front fenders, rear fenders, front and rear fenders, front fenders wide, rear fenders exist, and none altogether. Attachers, we have a standard attacher and a quick hitch, so you can use whichever one you like. Engine setup, we've got the 180, which is going to give you 145 horsepower. We also have the MX200, which will give you 165. The MX220, which will give you 185 horsepower. Or if you want to get a lot of horsepower in here, the MX240, which will give you 230 horsepower. You got a 270 version as well even a 285. So anywhere from 145 to 285 horsepower on there. Front attachers, no, or yes, whichever one you like through there. Windows, regular, tinted, or back to regular, and extremities, you have no extremities. You have USA flashers or none. And we got one more grouping for you today. This is gonna be new mods for PC and Mac players. We got five of them, no updates. Let's start off with the Lizard 128 sprayer. This is going to cost you 6,500 bucks, hold 600 liters as you're working with the 15 meters at seven miles per hour. This will do fertilizer and liquid herbicide. And that is legit it. <laughs> You've got your uh, um, hoses, connections right there you got your pto it works with a three point uh no horsepower requirements i imagine because it's so small small tractors will be okay next is the dnester 935702 ayo no idea what this was but here it is this bad boy is a semi trailer for grain carrying uh with a bottom nurse so it's got the basically it's a it's a gravity bin or a grain bin however you want to say it fill types wheat barley oats canola sunflower soybeans corn seeds wood chips fertilizer and lime which is a decent amount right there definitely custom for sure uh 60 000 liters of those recommended 240 horsepower i don't know if we've got many semi trucks you would pull this with with less rim colors we've got a couple of the older colors which is very nice plus we've got some gray space game gray <laughs> let's go and then all your standard colors through there as well let's go with a John Deere, you know what we're going to do here. Main color, we've got all these as well, which is nice to see all those older colors, but boop, there you go, John Deere. We're totally ruining it. And for the cover, same things, but super John Deere design. We've got a standard. We've got reflector stripes. We've also got reflector um, beams and side markers as well. And then for wheel setups, we've got a street setup. We've got an off-road setup, a mudding setup, and back to a street. Next new mod for PC and Mac players is going to be the Collier Miller Cotton Trailer. Now, this thing is interesting because it doesn't just do cotton, and it figures out what you're doing. So, through here, we have cotton round bell support, nothing, bell supports. You've also got wheel setups, some standard wheels, spider rims. How do spider rims go? Those look pretty good. Standard, though, I think is what we're going with here. So, this is intended to transport cotton modules, so the round ones or square ones, whatever you like, um, as well as normal bells, round bells, and square bells. Uh, the load is secured using a press construction in which the upper bells are pressed down. As you can see up through here, that'll go straight down. Capacity for this, you've got 10 
round cotton modules, three square cotton modules. You can also do 74 round bales and 64 square bales. These are all gonna be through auto load, which is really cool. It kind of figures out what you're doing. So just drive up to it and do your thing. Another really cool thing, you got a trailer hitch on the back. What does that mean? Well, that means you can hook up different things to this, which is pretty darn cool. The mod supports easy auto load, which is currently only for round and square cotton modules and round and uh, square hay and straw bales, various rim options, blah, 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 blah. Um, my question would be, do we have a dolly to go with this as well? I did not see one, but you know, it's always good to take it out. And then, yep, no, we don't have one. Next to last mod, today's gonna be new mod PC and Mac fruits adjustment mod. This mod adjusts the data, fruits, various fruits, to the creation of realistic statistics. So the fruits get adjusted by seed consumption, yield, and sell price. The adjustments in the seed consumption are particularly noticeable in fruits that are planted with the precision seeder. So you've got the seed consumption, which agrees well with the small shortage or small storage tanks on some of the machines. But the extremely low seed consumption of uh, canola in reality is brought into this by making adjustments to income. It sells some prices and fruits and their income which are aligned with one another. Yields of the fruits were converted from reality to the game, to the factors, such as the effort for the cultivation and harvest to be included. That, that's such a confusing mod, but it's cool. Just download it. It works. It's nice. It's, it's great. Uh, the following fruits are supported. So you've got default fruits without cotton, poplars, weeds, and sugar cane. You do have rice, spelt, triticale, clover, alfalfa, uh, Icarus, grass, onion, carrot, cabbage, red cabbage, lettuce, poppy, field grass, field bean, and energy maze oh yeah it is recommended to use the seasons mod maze plus and realistic cedar mod to use this and get the full uh, capability of this mod it's insane it's a great mod man who made this red fox modding yo this is awesome and your last mod today is the forage all in one this is grass alfalfa and clover that could be processed into hay and silage in the dryer or fermenter price is going to be one hundred ten thousand dollars. capacity 5 million liters maintenance costs 500 bucks per day it is 15 by 15 so quite small ish production per hour ten thousand liters per hour Required input, grass, clover, alfalfa, and chopped material, uh, or ch uh, chaff, that type of thing. And then your output will be grass hay, clover hay, alfalfa hay, silage, clover silage, and alfalfa silage. Uh, this mod is only playable in combination with Global Company <clears throat> and Maze Plus Forage Extension Maps Ready, which one of those is pretty darn cool. Oh, yeah. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel for new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All be said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.